Yo yo people, Gary to doing here for another video and this video is going to be in Farming Simulator 19 and today we're going to be relaunching a very old series we had on the channel and that is our Scrapyard series. Now this was personally what I classify as my favorite all time series we've ever done in the game. Uh, now I do really like our transportation series as well but something about Scrapyarding just takes the cake. And I know some of you are excited for this relaunch since one of our past videos is currently at 22,000 views. So as you can tell, we have very old equipment. Our trailer that we are currently living out of is really beaten down. We have a very rustic shed and this is housing our only tow truck that we're going to start off with. Before we open up the shed and show you guys the tow truck we're working with, I want to go over and do a quick tour of the scrapyard. And for any of you who are in the Discord server, you might have seen a message I posted a couple hours prior to recording this video. And that is saying I would give a random shout out to the first person who said hello in the general chat. And sure enough, someone sent a message right away and that was our brand new helper and staff member, Frosty. So shout out to him, thank you for being in the Discord server and we will definitely be doing more random shout outs in the future. Now right in front of me, you can see our most expensive piece of equipment. This is the 6250R, it's a John Deere, and we'll be using this for moving broken down vehicles around the scrapyard. In the future, if we get any kind of vehicles that we classify as being completely destroyed and totaled, we are going to scrap them by throwing them on top of one of these other vehicles. And most of these are pretty beaten, you can see there is minimal tires, since we can't really do anything with recycling those. There is the rare car that still has them attached, but we'll be working on removing those right away. Now this is definitely the worst vehicle we've brought in so far. It is literally split in half. Part of that was due to us transporting it, but it was also in a very bad collision. Now we do have a two floor office. Down here, it's simply just for storage bays and up top is where we'll be working. We have a nice big window, or actually three of them, that overlooks the entire scrapyard and nearby landscape. Of course, we have to have a giant L-shaped desk, a Razer keyboard, and two widescreen monitors. And we do have a two-story lift as well. Now, this is not really for vehicles as much as it is for packages, but it can definitely hold quite a bit of weight. Right over here, it's displayed that we can hold 15,000 pounds on the lower lift, and 7,500 pounds on the top lift. So that's really cool. And the final thing we have is this office, and eventually we will get access to this giant parking lot. Unfortunately, this area was out of budget, but we will definitely pick it up once we have made some profit. So over there's the scrapyard, and now let's see what tow truck we're working with. Here's door number one, and door number two. Are you guys ready? This is the Freightliner M2 flatbed. It can hold a pretty large vehicle, but the reason I wanted to start off with this is one, it was a bit cheaper, and two, it's a lot more versatile. And of course, we will be doing some scrapyarding this video, so let's go over to our call for the day. It isn't too far away, but we will be picking up a pretty weird load. Now, truth be told, I don't have any plans to scrap this load. And it's a little bit weird since we are a scrapyard, that's how we make our money. But we're also lacking on equipment and I have a feeling, we're going to have to check it out obviously and make sure this is possible. But I have a feeling we'll be able to repair this and use it for our own benefit at the work site. Alright, so here's where we're going to turn on in and you guys still cannot see it. I'm not even sure where it is on the property. Let's actually hop on out right here and take a quick little look around. Okay, so it doesn't seem to be on this side. What about over here? Uh, okay, no, I think that's actually someone else's land. Okay, I was looking at the property and then I realized that this house's door is wide open. I kinda wanna go inside and see if anyone's home. Hello? Anyone there? Okay, I don't, I don't hear anyone quite yet. Um, What are we working with? Okay, we got a stove, microwave, what time is it? 1208, okay. Ooh, these guys got a surfboard. That's quite nice, and some lawn chairs at the kitchen table. 
another surfboard right over here. Wow, okay, they must be surfers, which is kind of weird because I don't even know where you would go for that on this map. The only water I know of is right down there by this bridge, but the issue with it is there's really no waves, so I don't know how much fun that would be. And oh, okay, wait, I think this is it. Yeah, no, this is definitely it, okay. We have a Toyota forklift. There are so many trees around, I do apologize, but look at this beauty. It's not too pretty right now, but I think if we spend maybe $1,000 in work and labor, we can probably get this thing up and running. And obviously that's gonna be a lot cheaper than buying a new one since that's way out of the budget. But here we go, let's turn on our lights and we're just backing on up. Let me see how well we are aligned. Okay, not too bad. Let me see what happens if we unfold. We might end up hitting the back tires. Let's see, come on. Keep on going and, oh, okay, yeah. We definitely did collide. As long as we can access the hook, we should be all good. And yep, we're all hooked up. Okay, so now what's left to do is go into the tow truck, turn on the winch, and we should be able to start pulling. All right, it might struggle at first. Oh, geez. Um, okay, that's not exactly what I was planning. All right, we seem to be all good now. I don't know what was really going on, but nevertheless, let's keep pulling this thing up. There we go. And okay, I don't want to actually stand on here since that is putting our life at risk if the cable does snap. We'll keep pulling on back. Here we go. And stop. All right, there we are. Let's throw down some straps. I don't even know if they're going to work. Let's go ahead and move back in the ramp. Hopefully this all works okay. Come on, keep going. So far so good. And we have made touchdown. All right, let's get driving and we can head on out. Actually, first things first, are we able to hook up our electrical to this top light? I'm gonna try that out. Now, if I press this button, it should start working and we are all good. Okay, let's get back in the vehicle and drive on out of here. And when we're driving back, I actually have a question I would like you guys to answer in the comment section. And that is if you want this series to be fully relaunched and have more episodes made. Personally, I would love to keep this series going, but if that does not interest you guys, then I'll just play it off camera. Now it's time to get this Toyota off of here and onto the ground. So we're going to use the John Deere to do that, and I'm really, really hoping it's going to work first try. I usually struggle to move forklifts because they are not evenly weighted. Usually the back end weighs double or even triple what the front does. So we're gonna reach very far back and let's try this out. So let's drive these forks right through to the other side. There we go. So let's try it out. Here we go. All right, this is definitely really heavy at the back. Oh no, are we not able to do this? Wait, I think we're just still attached. Let me remove that, there we go. And now we can back on up. All right, that was a very rookie move. Now, since we aren't planning to actually scrap this forklift, instead we're going to be trying to repair it, I want to put it in our little rusty garage and we'll just keep it there until we have enough money to start working on it. Now, this will be a little challenging because it's not really facing the best of directions, but we might even be able to get it through here with the forks extended. Let's try this thing out. Here we go. Alrighty. So far so good, but we are hitting the roof. So we're gonna back up a bit, lower on down, drive on forward, and let's just drop it to the ground. There we go. All right, back on up, and that is a job well done. And now all that's left to do is close both of the doors. So here's one, and there is number two. And since you guys have watched so far into this video, I wanted to let you know two things that I've been kind of keeping hidden. Number one is that I have updated the merchandise site. There are new designs available and I've also lowered the prices of them to pretty much as low as I can go. So check those out over on our Teespring store, links down below. And the second thing I wanted to say is the GP Nation channel will have a video uploaded hopefully this week, if not the following. So that's the end of this video. Why not click the secret video in the top right corner? 
But first, make sure to subscribe and click the thumbs up button down below. That's also where you can find my Discord server. In the description, there are many different links such as my Twitter, Instagram, Patreon page, merchandise store, and even the Garrett Plays membership link. You guys are awesome. Bye bye.